welcome to Escape Moments as we channel the healing essence of Say Baba of Shirdi through photographs provided by Nevedita Shivaram. If you are new to meditation, be patient with yourself, as the more you practice, the easier it becomes. Allow yourself to get comfortable now and close your eyes. When we meditate together, our mind becomes more present and our body becomes more relaxed. Let go of any judgment or expectation each time you sit down with these photographs. Each week with a new photo, the experience will be different for you. You can simply listen or join me as I chant Baba's name to start the channeling of his energy. Let's begin. Take a deep breath in and relax more deeply as you exhale. Slowly now open up your eyes and surrender. Breathing in again and exhale. Allow your eyes to be drawn into the photo. Let them wander with curiosity and exploration. Maybe you're drawn into specific colors, patterns, textures, or even reflections. Once your eyes settle into a specific area of the photo, become present with it. Meditation is about being in the moment of what you experience. Maybe it's a feeling, a message, or a memory. Once you become captivated, then ask, what would you like to reveal to me at this time? Go ahead and bring your awareness back to my voice. Bring this experience that you have received now into your heart and then close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and allow the healing energy of Baba's essence to rest within you. And then exhale. You are safe. You are loved. Sit here in his essence as long as you like, and whenever you're ready, you can open up your eyes. Thank you for joining us. Until next time. Hello, everyone. So you're going to see on the screen the Enchanted Mab Deck by Colette Baron reed and the picture of the Strength card. So as Baba brings through a message today, he's centering it around this particular topic. So maybe take a moment and ask yourself, where does the word strength apply to you? In this moment or this experience that you find yourself in, does it have a meaning that is tapping into something specific for you that you either feel like you have strength you didn't have before, or maybe it's tapping into the realization that you don't feel like you have the strength where you feel as though it's needed? 
So I'm going to read a little bit about what Colette has written, and then I'll let Baba continue to channel. It says that the strength is accomplished even in some of the most daunting tasks at this time, and you can connect with and channel the power of the universe. The strength card indicates that your ideas are being tested and refined and your relationships are being deepened. So matter, no matter what happens, nothing can move you off course of evolution. As the potency of your connections becomes more obvious, you're able to harness the creative energies that are available to you. So have the courage, dive in, for magic is in the process of finding a form to take. When you remember that real strength comes from a combination of your efforts and reliance on a higher power working through you, all is possible. You can do anything right now. So where she talks about, you know, we're being tested and refined in our relationships, sometimes this really has to do with yourself as well. Are you believing in yourself? Do you acknowledge your capability and your confidence to be able to move through whatever your current experience is that might be causing either disharmony or hesitation? There is so much that we can learn when we look at our obstacles and our disadvantages from a higher perspective. When we become the observer and we ask, what does this mean instead of why is this happening to me? I believe that we have strength beyond our 3D mental comprehension. And I believe that you know that too. But the question is, are you ready to tap into it? Are you ready to find out where it is located within you? Because the thing is, is once you do, you'll never forget where it is. And I would encourage you, if you feel like you're drawn into the mind for your strength, or you're drawn into your biceps and your quadriceps. What about the heart? What if the true strength that you needed was located in the heart? Our power source of being a human, our connection to divine, because like Colette said, you know, this is a co-creation. You're not in this. You're not meant to conjure up the strength by yourself. Baba says, know that it is within and it is not hiding from you nor is it weak. It has its full potential and its willingness to assist you at any time when called upon. So this week I encourage you, look for your strength. And if you don't find it, you're looking in the wrong place. Dive into your heart. It's located in there somewhere. He's like, you got this. All you got to do is ask, seek, and it will be shown to you. All right. So that is Baba's essence of insight today. I hope you guys have a nice rest of your week. Thank you for joining us. Take care. Bye.